for three to five years, I took Alex and, uh, and the rest of the divers out every weekend possible for no financial gain. And uh, on numerous occasions, look, during the week, I put a lot of effort into taking divers out, which not many people knew about. And getting the project off the green, Matt even signed his book saying, there would be no uh, Mary Rose project if it wasn't for me and my crew. As far as Mac was concerned, Tony was a gift from the gods, you know, because us rebels who were doing our own thing with other boats in other places were really thinking, oh, Mac's gone out there again, digging that mud. But Tony, he could totally rely on every time he wanted a, a, a crew to go out and dive on the Mary Rose. He was totally obsessed with Tony because Tony could provide boats and towing. As a shipwright, my job um, was, apart from just normal diving, it was hoped that as the ship would become uncovered um, of the silt from the seabed, I would maybe be able to identify parts of the structure um, and pass this on to the boys, the divers, who were actually excavating and digging um, the ship. The day we uncovered the Mary Rose for the first time, or uncovered some of it, after Percy Ackland had found these frames, the words were um, going around, yes, we at last we found her. The atmosphere. Oh, it's um, excitement. When Percy came up, Percy went, was always the first in, went down, and uh, normally used to be down for 15 minutes, something like that, and then it would come up, but he went down, come straight back up, and uh, he said all the ribs are showing, and, um, and all, the, all the rest of the divers, I was all excited. It's a really good day. When I was working for the Mary Rose, my daily routine mostly would have been inspection of what the other divers had uncovered. In the early stages, when we were looking for the uh, Mary Rose, my routine was exactly the same as the other divers, um, going down and probing the seabed with the rods. Yeah, the last time I took the divers out was uh, when it was being raised. And we went on to Togmore. That was the last time I had them out. And national news was there, and Charlie and all that was on there. We had a few that day. Yeah, that was the last time I had them out. I would like to say that um, if it was not for the original divers, John Barber and myself, the Mary Rose project as it is today would not exist. And I, I do think they, that they need some kind of recognition.